All right, so we're out in my garden here. You can see I got these food scraps, which a lot of people get. And it's very common for people just to throw all this stuff right in the garbage. It's same as your uh, egg cartons and these paper towel holders. And over here we have um, little containers for holding vegetables that you get. So these are the items that I like to reuse, repurpose, and compost directly into the garden by direct burial method, which we will be doing today. And I've been doing this for, I think, almost a year now. So what I do is I look for a location, or a different location each week that I'm doing this. Probably 50 times I've buried food scraps throughout this garden all around my fruit trees and also what I like to do is you can see right here I have this paver set this down so this paver right here is really low you can see the mulch is spilling over I want to try to raise that paver up and I'm gonna bury these food scraps actually underneath that paver so you don't have to necessarily bury them under a paver but you could go anywhere in your landscaping where you can dig a small hole uh, maybe like eight inches wide uh, six inches deep you want to scrape away the mulch first and then I'll show you how to do this but first of all I want to cut up all this stuff I got some scissors or you can just tear it up by hand into uh, smaller pieces so we're gonna mix these paper products with the food scraps, you can see I got eggshells, coffee grinds, avocado peels, strawberry, orange, pineapple, pretty much a little bit of everything. I'll show you once we empty this out. But what I'm gonna do is peel up that paver, the stepping stone right here, tilt it up, get it out of the way, and dig a hole there, and then we'll throw all of this stuff in there. And this will be excellent way to get rid of your food scraps and kitchen waste without adding to the landfill because this is a lot of material um, when you start saving your material you kind of will start realizing how much food waste you have and paper products that end up going in the trash this can really help save the environment and provide more food for you to grow organically and bringing, attracting in more insects like worms and grubs and different microbiome into your garden. So that is uh, very good for organic gardening. So let's get started on this. Let's pull this paper up, reach under here, see if we got any insects. Oh wow, We've got an ant colony down here. But anyway, that'll be fine. So I'll dig a hole there, let me show you. Then I'm gonna cut, just cut these scraps up with the scissors here. So. All right, so you can see here, I got everything torn up or cut up into small pieces. And I'll be mixing it with the food scraps. Uh, this is important because worms really will like having the paper products mixed in, mixed in with the food scraps. So that is very important. You don't want to just do just food scraps. You'll have better results in your garden if you're mixing in the paper products. So over here, what I'm gonna do is, I got this tray. I'm gonna put some dirt in here. I wanna dig a hole. Just put the extra dirt here. You don't want to intermix your mulch with your dirt. So you can see here, this dirt is really poor soil right here. This is nothing you want to be growing in. You can see it's just original soil, no organic nutrients whatsoever. If you have too much dirt, you can actually just haul some of this dirt away and dispose of it. Just get rid of the dirt altogether if you think you're going to have too much dirt. But I actually want to raise this paper up it's too low so I like to always raise my pavers high enough so I can put layers of mulch pretty thick 
around my trees. So this soil is really poor, really has no use. But the more you bury your food scraps, you'll be amazed how good your soil becomes after. Okay, so I got a nice little hole there. Looks pretty good. So again, I've been doing this in my garden for about a year, all in different spots. I will be burying food scraps. So a lot of people don't think about what's under your pavers, but a lot of these tree roots will go underneath these pavers. And if you have some good nutrients under the pavers, then those roots will come in here and actually fertilize the trees. So you can see all the pavers I have walking, these stepping stones. See, all of these, I can lift them up and bury food scraps under the pavers if I run out of spots. I'll even bury in between the pavers. I'll dig a ditch, little hole there, um, all through around any of the trees. So I've done it many, many times. So you have to kind of get creative um, you can see here, just about got it. I'll put a little dirt on the side there. It looks pretty good. All right, now it is time. What I'm gonna do is, we're gonna start with a little bit of the paper products on the bottom. We're gonna take half of this and go ahead and put that like that. So that's about half. Now, let's check out these food scraps. I wanna show you what's in, in here and all the things that you should be composting and not throwing in the trash. These are critical things, um, nutrients that you just don't wanna throw away if you're growing organic fruits and vegetables. So you can see we have some cucumber peels, avocado peels, uh, a bunch of eggs. We have coffee grinds because I drink a lot of coffee. More avocado, a bunch of strawberries. Uh, tea bags. So you want to get some tea bags in there. Make sure you don't throw those away. Avo uh, avocado pits. These will actually regrow. I've had multiple avocados that just start growing out of the ground into a tree. Um, strawberries. It looks like, ooh, look at that, there's a uh, um, cabbage, pineapple, a lot more coffee grinds in there. Let's go ahead and just more eggshells, lemon, banana. Those are real important. Bananas are probably one of the most important things you can put in along with the coffee grinds and eggshells. So that's a lot of stuff in there. What I like to do is kind of jab at it a little bit, help break it down and mix it into that, that lower layer. It just helps kind of get it started on the decomposition process. So this is a great way to get rid of your food scraps and kitchen waste if you live in the city and you don't have any space to do a compost pile and you don't want to attract any critters that are going to dig up your your food scraps once i get this paver over it no animal is going to be able to get in, in here so this is an animal proof way to compost all of your food just by going under your your pavers so that's looking pretty good go ahead and give that a little pack down good so now you can see that whole entire hole is filled up and I still have all this extra dirt so that's gonna be perfect because I want to take this dirt and raise this paver up because it was too low I want to get it up off the ground 
So I will simply take this dirt and we're gonna put it right on top. Watch this, just like that. And we have all that extra dirt. That'll allow us to raise this paver up higher because these pavers tend to sink down a lot and I have to keep raising them up. I'm just gonna level this off. No mess, no fuss. You don't have to deal seeing an ugly compost pile and everything is just disappears into the ground. Make sure you don't mix your, your mulch in with the dirt. You don't want to have a you want to have a separate layer of mulch. So there's all this stuff over here. Keep that out of the way until. Oh, that looks pretty nice. Now let's set this down. We'll see how much that made a difference. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that looks nice. Beautiful. Well, that raised it up about an inch. Cool. So that looks a lot better. So now all those food scraps under there are gonna break down and become rich organic soil. So it's that easy, folks. Don't ever throw away your, your food scraps and your kitchen waste. Your garden's gonna be very happy if you recycle it into your garden. All right, so I'm gonna get a hose and we will be done with this. So this is a good size for your kit, your kitchen. It's not too big where it starts, you know, rotting in there, it's just big enough where once you fill this up, it's time to bury it. So get yourself something like this for your kitchen and uh, it's that easy. It's amazing how much stuff you'll collect just in like less than a week's time. There you go. Can't even tell anything happened. So it's the compost, compost pile free, direct burial method. It's been working great for me and you're just bypassing the whole process of having to make compost or have a compost pile. So I'll just let that soak real good, make sure the water gets under there and we'll be good to go. So anyway guys, thanks for watching. Hope, hopefully you enjoyed that. And make sure you don't throw away your food scraps. And you'll never know what grows up out of your garden. Because a lot of times when I bury my food scraps, um, I'll get all types of things growing up. Like I said, the avocado pits will start turning into trees. Potatoes that I buried right here, these are all potatoes. And I'll be harvesting some potatoes over here. So everything you bury actually oftentimes can regrow into another plant or food. All right guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Click like. We'll see you next time. Peace.